Hey, Spuddies, Potato Whiskey here, and welcome to Let's Play Castle Story. Now, this is a game that uh, I actually backed it on Kickstarter years ago, and I've been waiting a long time for it to be in. I mean, it's always been kind of playable, but the latest update, I think it's 0 0.9, I think the new update is, it, it it's much better. It's, uh, they did a really good job. And we're just gonna, we're gonna pick the first map here. Um, it's been a long time since I've actually tried to play the game. Uh, and we're going to do a conquest and we're going to do it on easy because uh, I'm not very good at the game uh, and I'm still learning it. So we're going to do it on easy, we're going to do a conquest on easy and we'll see how far we can get. Uh, I hope maybe we'll do a full playthrough of this game if we can manage it. It all depends on whether or not I can actually get through it. <clears throat> so we're just loading up the world here and uh, I'll try and explain what the game is. So it's basically kind of like, uh, uh, if you're familiar with games like Dwarf Fortress, if you're familiar with games like, oh, I don't know. Uh, welcome to Conquest Mode. To win this game, you capture all crystals and shards belonging to your enemies in the island. Some of the crystals and shards are neutral, belong to Corporals. Somewhere in the island, they're Roman bands. I don't know where they are, but no matter time before they find you. If the Corporals capture your home crystal, you lose. To capture the crystal and shards, you must be able to capture Ward near. To capture Ward is because you should be neutral. Never capture the case false. Okay, so basically we want to capture stuff. Uh, so to get started, I think easy mode starts you off with a knight and an archer. I did play around with this just for a few minutes to um, get used to the controls. So probably the very first thing we're going to get done here is to go to uh, right click context menu and we will do a harvest task on this stuff right here. We're going to want to harvest all that and then I will approve that. And then similarly, we're gonna to wanna to do another harvest task right here. Make that a little bit bigger so it encompasses all of that. Um, then we're gonna to wanna to get started on a wood harvesting task. That would be a good one. And they should go for that straight away. And then we will grab, let's see, a build task in here. I want to grab a build task. I want to approve that harvest task. And then I want to build uh, some stockpiles. Well, let's get started on something else first. So where are we started? We're starting over here. We're going to want to capture up here if we can. And um, if we capture up there, that means we could potentially seal off, uh, seal off the map. So let's get started. We will drop down a, uh, furnace here um, we will want a stockpile for iron and brimstone we'll want at least two for each of those and then the output will be at least two crates for iron bars then we're also going to want a workbench here so we want to we leave a, plenty of room if we can manage it let me see if I can Control click, right click to place it that way. Then we're going to want, for this one, we're going to want uh, a couple of wooden stockpiles. A wood, plant fiber, and then we're going to want on the output side here, we're going to want some of these weapon racks. So we'll do like three weapon racks and then we'll approve. Okay, so then my Bricktrons should go and start building all that stuff. This is going to be like our little factory area. Where's my iron? Oh, my iron is over here. So let's grab a um, harvest task. We'll plop it on the iron. We'll make it slightly bigger to make sure we capture all the iron. And then we'll approve. And they should organically... Uh, let me set these guys to stone. So these two will be uh, iron. Oh, I did not mean to do that. Let me... Uh, Escape North's tab, I want to press. These two shall be brimstone. Okay. And these two shall be iron. This one shall be plants. I think. These should be iron. This should be iron ingots. And then I'll get this guy to pick up that Wake up. No resource. What does this need? What does this need? Let me see. Resource-wise, what does this need? 
Uh, I think it needs some bricks. And I don't have any bricks stored because I need a storehouse for specifically for bricks. Um, so where are we going to put our quarry is a question. Um, I suppose we can do a small quarry over here. So let's grab a quarrying tool. Here we go. We'll stick it down here. We want to make sure we have a little bit of room around the quarry. We'll make it about yay big. We want to make sure it goes all the way down. Uh, we could probably make that a little bit bigger. Maybe this way. And then that's a, that's a decently sized quarry, I feel. For stone. We will approve that. Then we are going to want to additionally make some storage near that. Although I need to remember the storage should go like along here. So here-ish we shall produce some storage there. I think it was around here. We'll just do like five for bricks. We'll approve that. They should organically make their way around. Um, so you guys can actually drop off your tools now. And then you can start doing some work. You pick up that log and put it somewhere else. And go do that task. All right, so we're we're organically working our way through things. Um, probably the first thing, probably the first thing we're going to do is start setting up a little bit of an industry thing, which is what we're doing right now. We've got our um, our basic crafting area set up. We're getting a quarry going. We're setting up a basic stone stockpile. Um, we are going to want to start expanding up towards here and stuff. Uh, but the big thing is going to be getting a war band together so that we can expand carefully. And I think two knights and two archers is a pretty reasonable thing. And now what does it actually take to build one of these? I'm going to make another one of these. Then I'm going to go into this building task and I'm going to add another weapon stand here. Four, four should be good enough. And he'll drop a brick on there. Oh, you know what? These should have been set to be brick only. So I'm going to have to go through now and go ahead and get my brick trunks to take from this stockpile and empty it out. And then can I get him to drop it on the ground? Drop whatever you're carrying down. Take from. Drop load. Take from. Drop load. Uh, pick up this wood. Drop the wood on the ground. Uh, we're just we're just clearing out the stockpile. They'll they'll use up these resources. Um, hopefully, uh, I just don't want certain resources to be in here. This is not where they belong, right? Let's see if I can get these out of here. Okay, you'll drop them off. And there should be more room. Uh, See if we can get this to smelt some iron bars. Ah, this. These should be all stone only. This is stone only. This is stone only. This is all right. So they're all stone only now. Get this guy to pick up this wood and then drop it on the ground. So I'm just clearing out these stockpiles real quick. Um, I think stuff does decay on the ground, but we're not too we're not we're not too worried about that. That's not a big deal. Pick up that wood. Put it on the ground because this stuff is just getting in the way of my organization uh, which is going to hurt my workflow later when i'm building uh, my castle pick this up just throwing stuff on the ground right now but uh, don't, don't worry about that all right so that'll be clear i'll leave those plants there because they should get cleared out eventually uh so uh, are we, we are gathering our first set of iron and the iron is being dropped off over here and that's good news. So we have, in theory, two piles for each. This guy's like kind of randomly carrying stuff. Uh, so let's get started on our first defensive structure. Well, 
Well, I don't think we're. I don't think we need to start our defensive structure just yet. I think we can use our military might to uh, to protect us for the time being. So let's get some pylons going out towards this new stone. Get these two going for now, and that'll be good. That'll be good enough. They should get to work uh, building those fairly soon. We are smelting iron, which is great. Um, these guys are dropping crap on the ground. There's like a lot of stone on the ground, which is not ideal. Uh, so probably time to extend our storage again. Over here. Uh, let me go and do this. Five more. I think I'll add another one on the end of each. There we go. We will approve that, and they should start filling these up with wood. Um, they're kind of throwing crap on the ground right now because they don't have anywhere to put it. But once we build some more storage, it should uh, it should work itself out. See the way he's kind of confused. They're trying to do things, but we should be wood only, stone only, stone only. We need a lot of room for stone. Stone is the big thing you use a lot in this game for building. So you, you naturally you want to have a lot of room for, uh, for stone. Otherwise all your stone just goes on the ground. So let's have a look at the construction pile. Okay, things are going okay. It's a little bit annoying that you can't assign uh, storage. I don't know why, if they have two stockpiles over here, I don't know why they brought it all the way over here. That just makes no sense to me. Pick this up. Drop your load into there. I don't know why he's picking it up from over here and then bringing it there. That makes no sense. You do, uh, you do you, do, do whatever you want. Is this, have we finished making the, uh, archery kit? I don't think we have. Okay, looks like if I press tab here, uh, how do I see? So there's no goals on this thing. Well, we're not. We don't need any more wood right now. I could use a wood stockpile though. That wouldn't be a terrible idea. You should actually be a wood stockpile. Uh, let's get started. Since we have a pylon over here, we'll just we're we're gonna play this slowly and we're gonna experiment. We're not we're not speed running how to beat the game or anything. We're just gonna do some basic stuff. Uh, experimenting with the building mechanics and so on and so forth so that will do that oh that was one brick too many and we're just gonna make like a little too high wall here to act as a defensive choke point for now and we'll, we'll expand upon that wall later uh, but for now we're just gonna get to work on it and um, should people should start bringing bricks over now uh, so we're also, what we're going to do now is to actually place, in addition to this, perhaps we could place some stockpiles. Uh, hmm, maybe. Well, we've got a little bit, of, we've got a quarry going, which is good. Although there isn't much room between the quarry and this, which is kind of not so great. Uh, means there's going to be a bit of congestion walking through here. Uh, so this stone has been moved. We can now delete this order. A lot of wood on the ground. Uh, we can add another eight ingots here. I want to start using up all this stone as a building material. We've got two pylons built out over here. And uh, so let's uh, let's let's start extending. Uh, we want. I suppose there's no harm in having two spaced. Yeah, that works for me. We'll have two spaced. Let's extend this now. And we want to build an interlacing because it just looks cooler. It looks more like a castle, you know. It's all about the aesthetics here. This is a conquest game, but you know, we're not we're not super uh, we're not super worried about actually winning. Now I'm tempted to we'll only build this maybe too high. We'll see. 
then I also want to get a landscape task. And I want to just barely... I want to flatten out all this ground in here. See if I can make it a little bit smaller. One more small. Is that the minimum size? That looks like it might be minimum size. So this might not be a viable task. Uh, too wide looks good to me. And then we will do... Uh, that's too high. Now we're going to want to do the brick plugs for the beams. And as far as I understand it, this is the format that I'm going to want to take it in. To, and then a gap of two in between each one. It's like a fairly standard format. I want to put a half brick here. Plug here. Um... Can I build wood? No, I'm gonna have to just live with this the way it is. In the meantime, I suppose we will throw... Uh, yeah, I think I will delete here. And I'll modify things slightly, just, just for the sake of prettiness. But to... We'll put a brick here, and then a half brick here. And then we'll put a there and then a half brick there and that'll complete the whole wall look now in terms of wood we're gonna add in little beams here this is gonna be like a little defensive wall gonna add beams oh did not need to add that one there uh, and then I'm gonna want to add in some more bricks so let me grab the brick tool and then in between each of these should be um, all bricks Like so. And that looks reasonably okay. Then on top of this, we are going to want to place planks. Like so. And then another set of planks, like so. Now to get up to here, we want to do a stairway. And the stairway is done here in the bricks. And I suppose we could do the stairway on the this side here so we'll do a two wide stair we'll do this stairway here and we'll do like a th three wide stairway i suppose with some bricks underneath just for stability then we're going to want to get to work on the crenellations and so to do the archway it may be worth it could we do an archway here I don't know if that would fit over the door in a, in a reasonable manner. Maybe, maybe we'll do an archway here just to give it the look. The look and feel of being a doorway. And then we'll do little half bricks up top to uh, make it look like a little fortress. Yeah, it looks nice. We'll put one extra half brick there just for the... Just for the look of it. And that'll be that. So they should get to work now building this. It'll take them a while. And there's no doorways on it. Because we're we're mainly relying on our... Um, mainly relying on our combat units to defend us right now. So we have finished harvesting all of the iron. So we can delete that. We need to look maybe for some more iron. It looks like there is some iron up over here. I will drop a harvest task of this. Just because it's going to be a while before our quarry really generates any iron um, and we're gonna make a knight's kit uh, let's see if I can make you a little bit bigger yeah you're okay oh that's the wrong button tab is the button. I keep hitting escape when tab is the button I want to hit for that sort of thing so there are two bows and two arrows and two hats in here so I didn't know that these could hold multiples of each kind I think oh each one can hold two that's interesting okay Oh, 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 and we, uh, we gathered, we gathered enough spirit or whatever it's called to make a new brick, brick dude. And so we will create a new brick dude. And here he is. Uh, this particular brick dude will take up the sword and the shield to protect us at the front. 
So that'll be his entire job. He's just going to hang out here while he's going to be defending the building site of the first fortress. And you can kind of see this game is just really, it, it really is dwarf fortressy, and you know, they, there's this, there's this ebb and flow to the gameplay, where things are just built along, you know, certain lines. Now someone's gonna want to keep smelting iron as much as we can, because the eventually the quarry will start hitting stuff like iron and stone and all that sort of thing. All right. Little construction project going on here. Now I think I've done this in an intelligent manner, so they should be able to reach pretty much every point on the thing um, for the building. Uh, and we can even start to perhaps even extend some of the portions of it. For example, we could extend our pylons out to here. We could put our main pylon up on this thing and have it acting as our as our power source for the defensive things um, we could put lanterns for light and um, we will probably do that thing if you put one lantern up maybe some defensive sentinels and a healing ward we'll see but you know we're, we're, we're kind of just doing a casual playthrough um, it's a real it's a real chill out game you know I, I really enjoy it because there's this there's this real sense of um, relaxation and this real sense of chill. I think I will make another night kit. I want three of each in an ideal world. I will also be getting my next, if I get another Brictrin, I'll be getting an Archer Brictrin. Look at all this wood on the ground. It, well, I don't think wood decays, so it doesn't matter. I don't, I don't think any resources really decay. Um, as far as I understand it, they don't. It just causes performance performance to go down a little. So you can see now we're starting to get down to the actual stone. There's a little bit of um, stuff in there. And yeah, I mean, things are going really fun. It's a really enjoyable game. You see how our little wall is developing. They're building it brick by brick. Oh, it looks like there's a bad dude over here. Oh, might go deal with him. And so these are the enemies. Um, they're... They're not super... Oh, he, when they get hit, they drop their stuff. They're not super dangerous, but they are uh, obnoxious. So let's see if I can get these guys to gang up on them. Uh, which is probably means it's about time to uh, get another archer. Or to get an archer, rather. It means we're starting to get attacked, so... We want to use both of these guys. To start dealing with these little brickstrings. This guy needs to get out of there. Go we'll hang out by the main hall. By the way, they, they, interrupt the, um, they interrupt the building process, which is really annoying. So there's a, a wave of, um, of attackers coming in. You can see the archer is trying to shoot him, but he's kind of far away. The next, I'll be getting another knight with my next Bricktron. Bricktron or Bricktron or whatever you want to call them. So they're trying to capture these things, but they're also trying to harass me. That's part of the game is uh, trying to defend yourself from attack whilst also building. I'm going to get the knight over here. See if you can't deal with that guy. And they they kind of tend to attack in these waves. Um, there is actually a wave-based defense mode, but in this in this mode they tend to attack in these kind of like small little staggered waves, especially on easy. Things are a little bit less intense. And you know we're we're just learning the game. We're not trying to play professionally or anything. Okay, so he's going for my pile, and that's actually really bad. Okay, we looks like we have defended. I'm gonna put a repair task here to fix that pile. On. And that, oh no, pylons regenerate on their own, it seems. So it looks like we've actually we held, and uh, things were good. And that's, this is so, this is, uh, now that the combat is over, I can start talking a little bit about the, um, the sort of methodology I went through to, to, to design this. 
Um, if you put these on the front, it can be hard for your Bricktrons to get over across to build the other side. Um, but if you build it in this fashion, they'll build these little bridges out and then they can use these to construct the, um, the far side. And you'll see he'll probably stick a plank up here. Yep. Speaking of wood, um, we're going to want to set up some stockpiles over here as our as our frontline construction area. So we will do four stock. We'll do three stockpiles for wood and three stockpiles for stone. And we're also going to want a uh, a weapon rack here. I'll put the weapon rack like right there. That feels like a good place for the weapon rack. We are going to want to build a pylon up here. Now where exactly I'm going to put the pylon. I think I will... Are we under attack? No, it was just the guy making a weird noise. I'm going to put the pylon over here. And it'll look kind of like it's powering it. Uh, then we're going to put a lantern right over here. That'll provide some light. Uh, you kind of semi role play. And then we'll put a sentinel right here. The sentinel is like a defensive structure. Put it right there. Just put one sentinel for now. Oh, and I think it might be time. Well, we're not quite ready to add doorways because we're using our knights as doors essentially right now. And uh, we're not really ready for that. So we want to. We can put our archer up on the wall now, but we'll we'll just have it like this. This guy holding the breach. With the archer behind him. And we can make another Bricktron. And this guy will be another knight. Um, now you can do all sorts of micromanagement stuff. Where you know you have people jump in and out of uh, their combat gear. But this knight is going to be holding the bridge over here. And we will be making another archery kit. I suppose there's no harm in creating more iron ingots. Because we do have our stockpiles of iron here full. You can see now we're getting to the brimstone. And hopefully a little bit of iron in there. I, th I think these kind of bluish things are iron... And we should start finding some out of our quarry soon because we are starting to run out of surface brimstone and iron and stuff like that. So any more that we find is always good news. These two were going to be wood. Just for frontline wood storage. And hopefully they'll start storing wood over in these, uh, these areas here. We don't need any more wood. So uh, we are finished with this task. So we don't need to uh, continue. And you know, there's just something really satisfying about slowly building a little, um, a little town. You know, I, I don't know what it is. This is going to be stone. See if I can't, yeah, if I highlight them, I think it tells me what they are for. I don't think I can set, assign things to these, no. Some mining going. Oh, you should not be. You should be stone only. I need a Brickdren who doesn't have a job. See if I can find one. You. I need you to start emptying this. Oh, you know what? You should just uh, go do something else. Now I need you to drop that off there. I need you to also pick this up. And uh, something that's actually really funny about this game is, um, if you're not careful, the, the, the resources can like fall off the world if you're like uh, not diligent about giving orders in an intelligent way. They just kind of like, they can just fall off the map. No, 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 this is wood. Brick trends are ruined with me. This is brick. Uh, so where was that guy? Ugh, he ran off on me. Where are you? Kiwi, pick this up. Throw it on the ground. I threw it on the ground. I don't support your sister. 
no, it's system. But <laughs> that song um, by the Lonely Island, I threw it on the ground. Me and my friend, we always said uh, instead of instead of I don't support your system, it was always I don't support your sister. <laughs> I don't know why that makes me laugh, but it was just silly. What the hell, Rictron? This is for wood. Pick that up. Also pick that up. Drop it over here. I tell you what I will do. Since they are seeming to want more storage, I will extend these. Um, I will extend these by one each. And the uh, the brick trends should come over there and, and sort that out. Uh, but I tell you what, I'm gonna call this an end to this episode. So I want to thank you guys very much for watching. Hope you guys are, hope you guys like Castle Story. I love this game. It's really enjoyable. It's really fun, and uh, I can't wait to continue playing it. So I want to thank you guys very much for watching. Please remember, if you want to see more videos from me, you can subscribe to my channel to get notified when new videos come out. If you want to directly support my channel, please leave a like on the video. And if you want to give me your feedback, go ahead and leave a comment. Other than that, I want to thank you very much for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. I love you all very much, and I'll see you next time. Bye bye.